Welcome everybody, it's East Sussex Biker. We're back at it. Welcome everybody, it's East Sussex Biker. We're back at it. And after my uh, seven and a half weeks off, <laughs> I've decided I'd get my arse in gear and just get out and do a few chores on the bike rather than take the car. So I've got to get out. So, uh, We'll see how we far we get down this road because it did say it was closed but I might be able to wing my way through it. I'm not overly bothered so if I have to come back I have to come back. Oh, nice to be out there. I don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of people working up and around here so So anyway, what have you lot been up to? I have been watching your videos, by the way. Freddie Dobbs, Norley, uh, Bruce, Teapot One, Matt Armstrong, yeah, and others. So I've had plenty of time to do all that. And I've done some jobs on the bike whilst I've been able to. So I put <coughs> my licensed saddle back on but with a new cover. Um, I put an extension on the exhaust which brings it up a little bit so it looks more upswept, swept up, whichever you like to call it. Um, what else have I done? I put an LED light in the headlamp, which I did ages ago. Oh yes, and I put some shock absorber. I put some um, brackets in between the shock absorber and the um, swinging arm just to raise the back, as um, it felt like it was bottoming out. Um, and as it has like a sort of trial sort of look about it. I just thought, well, it might just enhance that. We go up here. So, yeah, I've just um, dropped my old barber jacket off at a friend's who is going to try and repair the pockets for me. And only because they are, um, they've just come unstitched a little bit, just with age. The jacket is like 36 years old, and 
I used to wear it when I went on the Lombard Rally to watch. So, uh, yeah, I've decided to dig it out. It's a little bit on the small side. But I have uh, bought myself another one. Again, used. I like them used rather than uh, new. They're too much for you, I think. You know, it's a lot of money for a new barber jacket. And as I said in the intro, the um, uh, I bought some. I think it's Trialmaster Bellstar trousers, wax cotton trousers. And uh, again, they're not new, but they're all sort of sensibly priced. Well, the jacket was £80, to be fair, um, and the trousers, I think, were 30 something like that. They weren't expensive, so it was a gift, you know. So I was very pleased to find those. Because it's so hard to find good stuff at a sensible price. Everybody wants silly money. I bought my wife a long barber jacket. Sadly it's too big for her. Which is a bit of annoying, a bit annoying. Which is a bit annoying. So I put that back up for sale. It's it's a traditional green barber long sort of riding jacket. So yeah, I've got to sell that. It fits me, but just too big for her. This is a gear. Why does it do that? Only tends to do it if I use the heel change. I'm obviously doing something wrong. The beauty of riding this, my Royal Enfield 500, because it's sort of trials orientated, it's got some knobbly tyres, it just means I can tickle around, I don't mind going in the mud and shit with it, whereas to bring the BMW out, which is an out and out touring sports bike, just tickling around doesn't really do it any good. Do you know, I thought it would be nice to have eight weeks off work, it wasn't really a choice as such, but bored shitless the first month because I couldn't really do a great deal. I put on weight and um, I'm working towards losing that. I've been putting some stuff up on eBay and what have you just to clear some stuff out that my father-in-law had. Oh, bugger. I end up getting off it to start it because I just don't have the leverage when I'm sitting on it. I know it sounds weird, but anyway. That's off, that's on, that's off. It's got very fluffy. Never used to do that. I don't know why.
see, it's still too slow. Hmm, looks like I've got an oil leak. It's still not running right. Do, 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 do. Right, so, saddle, saddle cover. And spring mounts, the extensions, they're here actually. So it gives you a bit more, three centimetres apparently. Uh, what else did I do? There was, oh the exhaust wasn't it? Yep. So this is the extension. And it just sweeps it up a bit more. It was down here before. So it just brings it up a little bit. Makes it look better with all the lines and everything. I think that's about all I did really, it just seemed to take ages to do it. Right, so you can listen to this now when I start it up. Right, igniter on. Ooh. Oh, that was lucky. Settle down now. Now my screwdriver's in my bag. And oddly enough, I'm wearing my goggles today over my glasses because originally <coughs> I never thought I could, but actually I can. But I ordered some other ones that do actually 
um, allow you to wear your glasses underneath. Now, I'm only coming over here just so I can see through the corner. Tricky corner this. Not to get round but you just can't see round it or over the hedge. Yeah, this is where I wanted to come out. Road ahead closed. Well, we're going to investigate. It's alright, I couldn't think of anything to say. So, has anybody bought a new bike over the Christmas period? I thought about it. I haven't got the money. <laughs> And the BMW, kind of like, kind of like, <laughs> like a teenager. The actual, the BMW K1300S is everything I really want it to be, to be honest with you. I wonder if I can go down there. One day. It's quite muddy down there. I wanted to do it. We just go down here and around and come up the back. just to make it worthwhile. Might blow the dust out of the carb a bit more. I should be walking really. As I say, I've got lots of uh, lanes around me. It's just quite nice to explore them at random, really. Oh, I know. is about just tickling around and enjoying yourself. It's a lane bike. Plus, with this bike, I've got a bike I can sit upright with and the other bike is a bit of a sports tourer position, which isn't too bad. Thank you for joining me. He's just his biker. Say goodbye.